Hello, and welcome to this video, and now, now we have Hurricane Mary, which as, as I hinted last night, has exploded overnight very rapidly from a 90 knot hurricane about to about 130 knot hurricane, so that's a pretty impressive 40 knot line in 12 hours. It's going to be debatable what the intensity is, it's probably, at least, at least, it's probably happening that it's probably at its peak intensity right now. It's probably at peak. I don't think it's weakening or strengthening. I mean, the outflow is starting to look pretty ragged. I mean, the advanced or black technique that peaked at 7.7, .7, which that would make it upper and catch away 5 hurricane winds of about 160 knots, and that would be. That's the second strongest ever recorded for a Pacific hurricane. That only behind both Hurricane or third strongest actually. Only behind both Hurricane Rick in two thousand nine and Hurricane Linda in nineteen ninety seven. Both I believe got seven point eight raw well, eight T value, but it could be wrong. But long story short, because of I mean, not Rick. Mary's been a very impressive hurricane, and the latest microwave overpass just yielded winds of 143 knots, and, you got, and that would make it a catchway 5 hurricane. There would be 80 values, I mean, the adjusted and the uh, final, which will lower in that 7.0 slash 140 knot threshold needed for catchway 5 status. Is this now about to reach that status and will probably be very close to 7.0 within within no time? But we'll see what happens. It's definitely been a very amazing system, and I mean, Sab and TFB gave this T6.5. They they would have both given it T.70 points in the ANC, but constraints had to kick in. The constraints are no longer an issue here. This advisory package so will see if it's still 6.5 or 7.0. Even if it is get 7.0s across the board, I don't know if the ANC is going to upgrade. It may not, because side frustration hasn't changed much. Since then, if anything is finally about steady, maybe gone a little bit stronger. I mean, probably a decent middle ground solution is probably 135 knots. We'll wait and see. It probably kind of, can, the cloud tops, there's not much AC cloud top stuff like it has. And that really hurts it a bit. However, near the Hurricane Jimena, and her, it probably looks very similar. Jimena was 135 knots. Imagine if they found Recon, the system would be 130 to 145 knots. We'll see what happens. It's been very, you, regardless of what it's become to catch away five hurricanes, this has been a very remarkable hurricane. It's really turned around. So it was looking like there's some uncertainty on how fast it would intensify. But it did it. It did it. And while we haven't had a cat five in years, uh, I'm, as a tracker, I, I feel okay if this gets held at a high end catch away four, because those are pretty exciting. And I mean, this system has a case out of Catchway 5 earlier, but it probably would have been at least 7.0. It's gonna be if they had Recon, it would probably definitely be a Catchway 5 hurricane, but we don't. See what else, we'll see what else is up. The storm sweep. I mean, it should maintain most of its intensity for the next. 24, 36, maybe 48 hours now, which is all apart. But I will say that there are all this, which was close, which, which attachment, well, not really attachment, but due to this good spawn channeling with the intertropical conversion zone, that may allow deep convection to persist a little longer than normally expected. We'll see, but I still think the system will weaken pretty rapidly, like most powerful EPAC majors do. And her truck, and Korean is down for truck and storm out with wind of 55 knots. 
It'll probably be the kind of post off when well, maybe even tomorrow. Anyhow, that will do this video. Bye.